y'all better y'all better y'all got a chance right now just flood it put out a lot of music mm -hmm. because 50 cent is it is quite evident that 50 cent considers jay-z's marriage to be yance to be the primary contributing factor in his several grammy victory this topic was recently covered in an interview with the ag unit commander that was featured on the cover of the publication celebrating its 20th anniversary Although it's true that producer power is accurate, 50 Cent is wrong when he says that Jay didn't start racking up Grammy wins until he started dating Beyonce in the early 2000s. If you look at the, the, even Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, but well, yeah, 16, 17 Grammys. See, the, the kids even have Grammys. Like, they don't, they don't sing yet. They don't sing. Right. <laughs> they don't rap yet. <laughs> and they already have Grammys. Jay-Z! Producer power is accurate. Jay-Z's career is said to have taken off after he started dating Beyonce, and since then, he has won 16 of the 17 Grammys for which he has been nominated. This is according to 50 Cent. The 50 Cent assertion is supported by a cursory examination of Jay's several Grammy wins. Jay was given his second Grammy, this time for Best Rap Album, for the album he released in 1998, The Continuation, the devastating impact of Facing Truth. Despite this, the song did not win the award for Best R.A.M. Song until 2004, a victory to which both he and Bay contributed, having overwhelming sentiments of affection for one another. Since that time, Jay has had a total of 22 nominations for Grammy Awards. To further illustrate his point, the songwriter behind the club hit remarked, You see, the children of Jay and Beyonce already have a Grammy, but they are not singing yet. They have not started rapping as of yet. They are in possession of Grammys as well as tea, by the way. They finish by saying, Give them this trophy so we can guarantee that they will come to the award ceremony. You got all the trophies, man. That's because he signed that contract. What contract? Thank you very much. Um, thank all the producers and Dream for writing a song, Justin, and all the... Uh, Despite the fact that Get Rich or Die, trying to take fifth place, was nominated for five Grammys in 2003 for his record-breaking debut album, the artist was not asked to play at the 2004 event. To be quite honest, I couldn't have cared less about the medals. Yes, I had committed to provide you the money earlier. As a direct consequence of this, people pay attention to and admire these characteristics. He informed me that it was unimportant at this juncture. It was me who used the phrase, damn it, I have no interest in winning the honor. But what does it even mean? Despite the fact that I had sold 13 million records, they never referred to me as the most talented new artist. This is without a doubt the most amazing debut album in the history of the hip-hop genre. I explained to them that having a connection is more important than having expertise in the music industry. All they need is to know someone. The founding members of G-Unit brought the same line of reasoning with them to the Super Bowl. Jay needs his assistance in order for 50 Cent to communicate with Eminem. Please charge me a dollar and a half the item. Because of this, I inquired, who exactly is this white guy? According to Nora's public relations staff, Eminem informed Jay-Z in 2022 that he would not be playing at the Super Bowl halftime performance, and Jay-Z confirmed this to Eminem. The rumor that Nora was unable to invite 50 Cent to the celebration of his drinking champion, which also included famed rapper and hip-hop musician Snoop Dogg as a guest, was confirmed by Nora. Snoop, Eminem, 50 Cent, Mary J, Lidge, and Kendrick Lamar were among of the artists that participated in the conversation. Snoop Lion responded to a question from a resident of Queens about why the game, a former member of Aftermath Records, wasn't permitted to perform by stating that the show belonged to Dr. Drew and that he only had 12 minutes to finish it. As a consequence of this, Nor went public with the information that Jay-Z, who is in charge of the live music entertainment strategy for the NFL, had provided to him on the prerequisites for Eminem's appearance at the renowned football game. Jay-Z gave this response in response to the question, I have to ask directly, who's going to play in the NFL? He was able to recall that the white guy had inquired about 50 cents, and he shared this information with me. I am so sorry for everyone who does not comprehend this. A person of white race with the name Jimmy Iovine? Who is this man? Our plea was categorically turned down by him. Eminem called me right away and asked for 50 cent, and he told me that I couldn't participate in the event if I wasn't able to bring 50 cent with me. The dedication shown by him, 50 cent, and Dr. Drew was something that Noor and the rest of the podcast team valued. When 50 Cent found out that Jade did not want him to approach the Super Bowl stage, he became enraged. As a result, he began to suspect that the person who designed the hit blueprint purposefully omitted him from the commercial. 50 Cent is under the notion that the CEO of Rock Nation aggressively sought to keep him out of the commercial for the 2022 halftime performance. This is something that 50 Cent believes to be true. A few months later, the rapper had a conversation about the program with the radio host Big Bo. During their conversation, the rapper commented on his dissatisfaction with the other half of the show. Big Boy asked 50 whether he thought he was purposely left out of the Super Bowl commercial, and 50 responded by saying that the NFL had issues with him that he is still unaware of. 50 also added that he doesn't know what those issues were. 
He said that the rapper wasn't finished yet, but he didn't provide any explanation for the delay. He said that Drink Champ host Nor had confided in him about Eminem's wish to have 50 Cent come on the program, and he added that Nor had told him about this desire. After that, 50 Cent drew parallel between Jay-Z and a gay musician. The current subject of discussion is Basquiat. It seems that he is attempting to disguise himself as a gay musician. The rapper finished his speech by alleging that Jay-Z had contacted him to inform him that the NFL statements were basically a plea to hide him from advertising when the program was in the middle of the halftime performance. A large boy who was genuinely surprised was confronted with the number 50. 50 Cent said that the conflict that he and Jay-Z had been having was now settled and that they had nothing more to talk about. Jay-Z has been referred to be a gay artist by 50 Cent in the past. When Nora shared the details of his private conversation with Hova a year earlier, he had not changed his point of view. Your close friend Nora is now impersonating a gay musician as she travels about. 50 Cent made a lighthearted comment in an Instagram post that said, LOL, which has now been removed. As a result, it is evident that these two have always had troubles, and the recent wrath over 50 Cent is not surprising in the least. In his most recent interview, in which he challenged Jay and Bay to a battle, 50 Cent confessed that he wasn't bothered about prizes and that he was more worried about salary. He went on because of how controversial the subject matter was and who I am. In my experience, conservatives tend to be really unforgiving. He said, There are a lot of things that I haven't encountered that Jay also probably hasn't. Let me just say that he has a hidden depth. Because he maintains his composure under pressure, it may seem as if he is unaffected by his surroundings. 50 Cent insisted, though, that he grasped the big picture. Picture. Surely Queen Bee and her famous husband have had at least one 50 Cent fight in the past. According to an interview she gave to the Breakfast Club this summer, Queen Bey reportedly stomped on 50 Cent at a welcome from Haven, Vegas, because she mistook his presence for a challenge to her then boyfriend. The 50 Cent guy claims that Beyonce came rushing down the window and was about to assault him. He was caught off guard by the unexpected encounter. No one knows when exactly this happened. She had found a makeshift windowsill to stand on. In his mind, we were in Vegas, he said. She leapt from the automobile. I own all of these Jay-Z items. You're completely irrelevant to this discussion. And when she leaped off the cliff, I was like, oh, I really didn't know what to do. A circumstance arose where one would think, well, if you mention that to Jay, he'll look at you and say, no, it occurred. After then, he said, she came as if she was ready, as though something were about to take place. To which I respond, oh, who? Because I'm at a loss for words. She is now pushing me away. Do you still intend to stare at me? Just be aware that it's competitive, the two renowned rappers' long-running animosity, which started with a power battle in the early 2000s and has been temporarily put to rest, despite multiple furious encounters, may be reignited by the current fit claims. Fans had mixed reactions to 50 Cent's remarks, with some agreeing with him and others pointing out that one of 50 Cent's tweets suggested that Jay-Z earned most of his Grammy awards because he married Beyonce. I appreciate you taking the time to see our video. If you want to see more of your favorite stars, subscribe to our channel. Leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed